Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Okay, so starting with lecture 9, we will be talking about how the property is evaluated, uh, its inspection, how the, it, uh, how the situation around it will be analyzed. This will be discussed in this particular lecture. So let us start. So first of all, uh, what will be discussed in this particular uh, lecture? So talking about uh, different uh, property condition situations, so we will how to evaluate that, that will be there. Then the, uh, the analysis uh, nationally, regionally, the location analysis, the neighborhood analysis, how that is done, this will be discussed in this particular session. Then uh, what are the factors which influence the neighborhood analysis, uh, that is there. Uh, so basically from macro to micro, how the analysis of the, uh, of the property uh, and its surroundings will be discussed So uh, uh, in this particular session. And then uh, how the boundary is defined what is the absorption rate, how uh, we, uh, what we understand through that and uh, the, uh, the cost benefit analysis, uh, then how to write a narrative report, how the data regarding all this is evaluated, how the physical inspection and what are the properties of that. So this will be part of this particular lecture. Then moving on to uh, what we have covered in the previous session. In the previous session, we discussed about the management agreement and uh, the plan in detail. The relationship between the uh, owner and the manager, uh, we started uh, uh, first with the definition of the management agreement, what are the different components of the management agreement, what are the duties which are expected to be performed by the managers uh, in this uh, agreement uh, and then uh, what is the management plan, what are the different components of the management plan what are the aspects that are there in the management plan. So basically uh, that was uh, covered in the previous session. And uh, uh, we uh, uh, also saw that for the uh, proper functioning of the real estate, uh, the team uh, of uh, real estate manager and the, uh, the property owner, um, this team has to uh, uh, work together. And uh, this agreement, this plan basically uh, helps them to uh, uh, become a team there to clearly define the goals and uh, th 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 this aspect was uh, thoroughly uh, discussed in this particular lecture. Now building on that, uh, the analysis of the property uh, which will become uh, helpful in the uh, property, uh, the, man the management plan, uh, how that is done will be discussed in this particular session. So first, uh, the uh, evaluating the property conditions. So comprehensive evaluation of that. So the management plan entails a thorough evaluation encompassing national, regional, uh, neighborhood property and market conditions. This comprehensive assessment provides a holistic understanding of the property's context within various geographical and market dynamics. So by integrating insights from the evaluation, property managers can make informed decisions regarding strategic initiatives uh, and operational adjustments, identifying strengths, weakness, opportunity and threats based on property conditions enables managers to leverage strengths, mitigates the weaknesses, capitalize on opportunities and address the threats effectively. So comprehensive evaluation of property conditions serve as the foundation for the strategic decision making and the proactive management by uh, leveraging insights from this assessment, property managers can optimize performance and drive success in the real estate investment. So that is the uh, how we, why we are requiring evaluation of the property conditions. Then moving on to the national analysis. So one of the aspect is the national analysis. Now what is the um, discussion in this particular area? Uh, the uh, location 
uh, stands as a paramount factor influencing the property valuation with supply, demand and geographical positioning directly impacting the property value. Property situated in areas with high demand, limited supply and favorable amenities typically command higher values due to the desirability. Uh, delving into economic, demographic and environmental uh, uh, conditions at the national level provides crucial insights from the, uh, for the informed decision making. Economic trends, population dynamics and environmental regulations at the national scale shape market conditions in influencing investment opportunities and risk assessment. So, when we uh, earlier discussed uh, uh, that what are the uh, aspects of real estate investment we uh, and uh, the economics of the real estate, that time we understood that the economy of a particular country, uh, economy at the global scale impacts the real estate market uh, globally and at the local level. So, understanding the economics, understanding the population uh, dynamics, the changes which are happening and the, the different uh, societal changes which are taking place, all this understanding is important uh, for the uh, assessment of the future of property. Now, uh, this assessment, uh, all this my, uh, macro level, uh, um, um, the analysis which we are doing becomes part of this national analysis. And it is very important because the bigger picture gets clear by this particular analysis. So, moving on to the next stage which is your from macro to micro, we are from, from the nation to the the micro most, the, the smallest, the, the neighborhood level will be progressing. So, from bigger picture to very micro picture, that is how the analysis will be done. So, the second stage after the national level would be the regional analysis, that is the region in which a particular property is situated. So, what will be the part of this particular analysis? So, regional analysis delves into economic trends, geographic features and social climates that directly influence the property value, economic vitality, population growth, infrastructure development, regional policies all play pivotal role in shaping property value within a specific region. Regional analysis draws insights from the diverse sources including data from the federal central government agencies, commercial brokerage firms and professional associations. These sources provide comprehensive data set encompassing economic indicators, demographic trends, market forecast and regulatory landscape specific to the region under the scrutiny. So, we are talking about let us say for an example a northern region or southern region or western region or eastern region of a particular country. Let us take example of India. So, northern region of India, southern region of India there will be differences in the region wise also. There will be certain demographic trends which are visible in specific uh, parts of India. For example, southern India, certain specific aspects which are only present in the northern region. So, if the property is located in the northern region, then the uh, aspects of northern region will be impacting it more. And that is why from the national analysis first, we will move towards the regional analysis where the uh, property is situated. So, we are closer to the actual neighborhood of the property. Then moving on, we will be going for the neighborhood analysis. Now, in neighborhood analysis, uh, we will uh, try to understand the local context, analyze the immediate neighborhood uh, as a critical aspect of this particular management of the property. Then it will involve the studying nearby sites, amenities, and competition with a specific focus on the subject's property immediate surroundings. Neighborhood analysis examines factors such as demographic trends, local amenities, transportation access, crime rates and type of that locality. Understanding the neighborhood's socioeconomic characteristics, lifestyle preferences help tailor marketing strategies and property positioning of that area. So, assessing the competitive landscape involves 
evaluating similar properties in the vicinity, their rental rates, occupancy level and amenities offered. Benchmarking against competition, competitors provide insights into the pricing, pricing strategy, sur service offering and potential areas for differentiation. A comprehensive neighborhood analysis thus enables property manager to gain a no sense understanding of the local context, identifying market opportunities and diverse, and diverse uh, uh, device strategies to enhance a property performance and tenant satisfaction. So, by leveraging uh, insights from neighborhood st uh, studies, real estate professionals can make informed decisions that contribute to the long term success of the properties. So, let us take one example. So, if we are saying that we are doing the neighborhood analysis, uh, neighborhood analysis of uh, South Mumbai property uh, will be very different from a property which is situated in Old Delhi. The amenities which you can provide in South uh, uh, Bombay property, uh, Mumbai property will be very different from the, uh, uh, from what we can offer in Old Delhi. Uh, 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 South Mumbai or North Mumbai properties will have certain um, uh, competition level which uh, uh, the tenant will require from us. So, they will be, um, uh, 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 they will be expecting that because the properties nearby are also offering those kind of amenities and services. So, if you are talking about that, you will have to uh, understand those properties. And if you go to uh, uh, Delhi, old Delhi properties, you will see that there are certain aspects which are specific to that area. So, the neighborhood analysis is very important because the local context will give you the extra edge. So, this analysis that uh, how granular, how um, accurate your uh, analysis is will be uh, there as part of the neighborhood analysis. Then moving on to the next part which is factor influencing the neighborhood analysis. So, recognizing the interconnected nature of neighborhood is crucial. Changes within the neighborhood affects the property just as uh, broader changes in the nation and the region impacts. So, location remains a paramount influencing property value and desirability, proximity to amenities, transportation hubs and schools often dictates rental demand and property prices. Demographic trends play a significant role affecting the composition of the population and their housing preferences. Understanding demographic shifts uh, help tailor marketing efforts uh, and anticipate housing needs. Then economic conditions within the neighborhood as such as job opportunities, income level, business activity, influence residents purchasing power and rental affordability, economic stability, foster property investment and support rental market. So, a nonsense understanding of the neighborhood dynamics involve consider, uh, considering various interconnected factors including location, demographic trends and economic condition. So, economic conditions is another important essential aspect, the job market, the, the amount of uh, uh, the resources which are available to the tenant in a particular area. So, again uh, example of Mumbai, Delhi, another city may be Jaipur. Lucknow. So, the differences uh, from, uh, from one city to another will be clearly visible and uh, uh, the, the, the economic uh, uh, trend in that particular area, the, the job opportunities which are there, it will govern the, uh, the overall uh, uh, property analysis also. So, that will be the factors which will be influencing the neighborhood analysis. Then how to map this? So, we will go to the uh, mapping of and online resources. So, uh, mapping tools such as Google map offer invaluable insights into the geographic and physical characteristics of the neighborhoods. These tools enable property managers to visualize proximity to amenities, transportation routes and other key features that influence property value and desirability. Then the um, online reviews of certain websites provides a platform for individual to share feedback on the neighborhood businesses including restaurants, shops and services. Property manager can leverage these review to gain insights into the competitive landscape and understand the amenities available in the area. This information aids in assessing the neighborhood's appeal to potential tenants and identifying areas for improvement or differentiation. 
mapping tools and online reviews offer property managers valuable resources for understanding neighborhood dynamics and addressing the competitive landscape. By leveraging these tools effectively, managers can make informed decisions to enhance property value and attract desirable tenants. So that is part of the uh, mapping and online resources. Then we go to the boundary definitions. So defining neighborhood boundaries is essential for property manager to understand the scope and characteristics of the area they are managing. These boundaries are often delineated by natural features such as river, highways or constructed barriers like fences or walls. Then we have data sources. So precise mapping of neighborhood boundaries requires data from multiple sources including census data, local government records and the utility company maps. By leveraging information from these sources, property managers can establish clear and accurate boundaries enabling better decision making and resource allocation within the neighborhood. So establishing a clear neighborhood boundary through the utilization of diverse data sources ensures the property manager have a comprehensive understanding of the area they oversee. This clarity facilitates effective management practices and enhances the overall quality of service provided to residents and tenants within the neighborhood. So basically um, the proper uh, information of the neighborhood whether it, it in terms of economic condition of the uh, people in that particular area, what are the what are the, um, the, the job opportunities available in that area? What are the different amenities which are being provided by the competition? Uh, that is other uh, real estate buildings or other real estate um, properties which are there in that particular uh, locality, there, that particular neighborhood. Uh, the different uh, facilities such as schools, hospitals, the nearness to that and uh, um, the traffic um, situation. Um, so, there are so many uh, uh, important um, issues which needs to be looked by uh, property manager uh, or the, the, the real estate manager when they are uh, uh, doing this neighborhood analysis. And the, the comprehensiveness of this analysis will help the, uh, the real estate manager in maximizing the returns out of their property and the, the, the better they will be able to manage their property. So uh, understanding this uh, deeply, getting updated with all the latest happenings in that particular neighborhood are essential part of this particular analysis and should be done. Establishing of the boundary also is something which needs to be part of that. That is how the area is actually in that particular neighborhood. What are the uh, the, the municipal limits, what are the, the geographical limits of that particular area. That can also be very uh, important information for the proper analysis of neighborhood. So all this has to be uh, well taken care by the, um, uh, the real estate manager in their analysis of uh, neighborhood. Then we move on to the next which is uh, characterization. So, uh, neighborhood characterization. So, neighborhood characterization involves a comprehensive understanding of various elements that define a community's dynamics. So, population and economic elements. So, understanding the demographics and economic factors of a neighborhood is crucial for property manager. This entails analyzing factors such as population demographics, including age groups, cultural diversity, and household sizes. Additional examining economic aspects like income level, employment rate, predominant uh, industrial pro, uh, predominant industries provide insights into the neighborhood stability and potential for growth. Then we have residential versus commercial. There has to be a difference. So when characterizing resident neighborhood versus commercial areas, different considerations come into play. In residential neighborhood, the focus is on housing types such as independent houses, apartments, as well as household demographics, including family size and home ownership rates. Uh, eventually, amenities like parks, schools and retail centers also contribute to understanding residents' lifestyle and preferences. On the other hand, 
the commercial areas, the emphasis shifts to business types ranging from small local shops to large corporate offices, assessing food traffic um, 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 patterns especially during peak hours and proximity to key amenities like public transportation hubs and parking facilities become essential for gauging the area's attractiveness to business and customers alike. Uh, so, a thorough characterization of neighborhood involves analyzing both population and economic elements. By understanding the unique dynamics of each neighborhood type, property manager can tailor their management strategies to meet the specific needs and preferences of residents uh, or businesses in the area. This targeted approach not only enhances the tenant sat sat satisfaction, but also maximizes the potential for property value, appreciation and sustainable growth within the community. Then we go to the physical inspection. So, in the physical inspection, the property manager assesses the curb appeal of the neighborhood, uh, that is the street appeal. The, this involves evaluating the overall cleanliness, maintenance and attractiveness of the area. This involves observing factors such as well-maintained streets, clean surroundings and absence of litter or debris. A tidy and visually appealing neighborhood not only fosters a sense of community pride, but it also contributes to a healthier and safer environment to residents. Identifying favorable features. So, property manager should also identify favorable features within the neighborhood. This includes, uh, 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 this includes noting amenities such as parks, schools, shopping centers and public transportation hubs. Proximity to these amenities enhances the desirability of the neighborhood for residents and can influence property value. Uh, so, a thorough physical inspection allows property managers to gauge the curb appeal of the neighborhood and identify key features that contribute to its attractiveness. So, this is something which we can uh, relate if you uh, read uh, local newspapers uh, 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 in your area, you will see that there are ads. Uh, advertisements from the, uh, the different uh, builders uh, for their residential properties which they want to sell. Now, in those ads also you will see that there uh, are uh, distances given from uh, the main, uh, uh, a, a main uh, um, important uh, landmarks uh, in the city so, or essential services. For example, hospitals, how far the property is from a particular hospital how far a pro property is uh, um, from, from school. So, uh, the essential service distance. Then um, the transportation hubs, how far the property is from um, railway station, uh, airports. So, all this information is important and needs to be uh, collected by the, uh, uh, the, the property manager and if there are any new constructions which are taking place in, their, in that particular area uh, of these essential services, they uh, should be very much uh, aware of that. So, uh, that will increase the, uh, the value of the property they are managing. So, uh, that is part of the physical inspection. Then we move on to the comparative analysis, that is comparing the, uh, uh, the property with the other properties. So, conducting a comp comparative analysis involves delving into the subject uh, property alongside similar properties within the vicinity. This comprehensive assessment aids property manager in discerning prevailing market trends, evaluating competitive advantages and establishing realistic rental or sales prices. Various factors come into play during this analysis including property size, available amenities, conditions and geographical locations. By uh, looking at these elements against comparable properties, property managers can gain a no sense understanding of the property standing in the market and make informed decisions accordingly. Then we move on to the micro market analysis. So, in commercial real estate, delving into micro market analysis um, uh, zeroes in on a smaller group area, geographical areas, typically spanning in a few blocks or buildings. This meticulous examination offers uh, invaluable insights into localized leasing dynamics, tenant preference and prevailing rental rates. Property managers leverage micro market data to fine tune leasing strategies, 
optimize occupancy rates, maximum, maximize rental income by honing on the intricacies of the micro market. Property managers can tailor their approaches to suit the specific needs and preferences of tenants and property owners, thereby enhancing overall property performance. So, the micro market analysis for the commercial buildings, very, very essential part because um, we are talking about uh, uh, the, the leasing activity, enhancement of the leasing activity to attract more and more tenants to, uh, to fill the vacancies of a particular uh, commercial building. Um, um, example would be an office. So, um, uh, the, the best uh, uh, possible uh, strategy which can be chalked out by the real estate manager regarding the micro, manage, uh, the micro market will be to fully understand the, uh, the essential uh, requirements which are there for the businesses in, uh, for, from that building uh, and its surroundings. So, uh, the uh, information relating to that is very uh, uh, useful for the uh, uh, project manager for managing such commercial properties. So, by um, uh, uh, engaging in both comparative analysis and micro market analysis, property managers equip themselves with a wealth of market insights and competitive positioning. This informed approach empowers them to make strategic decisions that not only bolster property performance, but also effectively cater to the evolving needs of tenants and the property owners. Through a blend of comprehensive analysis and strategic foresight, property managers can navigate the dynamic real estate landscape with confidence, driving sustained success and growth in the property sector. So, then we move on to the property analysis. Now, you, if you will see that how the, uh, the analysis is moving from starting from the national level analysis, then we moved on to uh, uh, the regional analysis, then we moved to the, uh, the neighborhood analysis, then we moved on to the, uh, the, the marking of the boundary, the understanding of the boundary and then we moved on to the, the, the comparative analysis and now we are talking about the property analysis that is the, prop, the analysis of the property for which we are managing that itself. The concentration has now moved on to so micro level to from, from, the, uh, from the broader picture to very, very close to our property we are reaching. So, in this particular analysis, uh, employ similar analytical methodologies utilized in a regional and neighborhood assess assessments, but zero in on the specific of the subject property. This meticulous process invi involves scrutinizing various facets of the property to gain a holistic understanding of its strength, weakness and potential avenues for the improvement. So, by employing analytical method tailored to the property's unique characteristics, property manager can uncover hidden opportunities and address existing challenges effectively. So, they can address certain key questions through this analysis. So, what is the size and the layout of the building? A very essential question. Uh, property managers should be, uh, the, the real estate manager should be well aware of this. Then what is the overall condition of the property? Encompassing structural integrity and maintenance standards. How are the common areas managed and maintained to ensure optimal functionality and aesthetic appeal? What are the demographics of current tenants? And how does that, this demographic composition influence property management, these strategies and tenant interactions? Then we have uh, these key questions. And uh, uh, these key questions like the, 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 the one where we are looking at the demographic composition the, uh, of the current tenants and how the demographic composition influence the property management strategies, this is a question which can be asked by the tenants directly to the management when they are coming and looking for an office space. They will have their own questions regarding the maintenance whether the, the maintenance is taking time, uh, taking place timely or not, how the cleanliness of the property is managed by the, uh, the managers. So, the questions of uh, these types can be asked by the tenants to the property manager and they should have the answer. The answer should be immediate and should be very well clear answer. So, these type of aspects which are relating to the property should be very clear to the property manager. So, uh, these uh, uh, addressing these key questions facilitate a deep dive into the intricacies of the property, enabling property managers to formulate tailored strategies 
that align with the property's unique characteristics and tenant demographics. So, property analysis stands a pivotal steps in the realm of effective property management, offering invaluable insights into the specific attributes and challenges inherent to the subject property. So, moving on to the next that is your market analysis. Now, we are going to the market analysis. So, market analysis delves into the intricate dynamics of supply and demand, rental rates. So, now we are moving to the economic side of the analysis. So, uh, the dynamics of supply and demand, rental rates and competitive features within the properties market area. This multifaceted process offers invaluable insights into the overall health and trends shaping the real estate landscape. By dissecting these market dynamics, property managers gain a no sense understanding of the prevailing conditions, enabling them to make informed decisions that drive property performance and profitability. A critical aspect of market an analysis entails comparing the subject property with its competitors and drawing insights full conclusions derived from the regional and neighborhood analysis. Uh, by analyzing this, the property against the similar offerings and scrutinizing market trends, property managers can discern competitive advantage and identify potential areas for improvement and formulate effective market strategies. This strategic approach may encompass set setting competitive rental rates aligned with the market trends in pointing target tenant demographic and devising tailored market initiatives to enhance property visibility and attract high quality tenants. So, market analysis stands as an indispensable component of the property management serving as a compass that guides strategic decision making process by uh, comprehensively understanding market dynamics and benchmarking against competitions. Property managers can devise robust strategies aimed at maximizing property value and profitability. And through this astute analysis, proactive planning and agile adaption to market tents, trends, property managers can unlock the full potential of the property, drive sustainable growth and achieve their investment objectives with confidence and precision. Then we have another type of analysis that is your location analysis. So, in this location stands as cornerstone in property management, wielding significant influence over tenants demand and property performance. Understanding how location impacts demand is paramount as it often serves as pivotal factor shaping prospective tenants decision, whether it is proximity to essential amenities, accessibility to transportation hub or the overall safety and ambience of the neighborhood. Location exerts a profound impact on the tenant preferences and property desirability. Now, what are the factors which are influencing this perception? So, prospective tenant perception of a locality, uh, location quality are multifaceted and influenced by different factors. These include not only tangible aspects such as proximity to amenities like school, parks, shopping center and public transportation, but also intangible factors like neighborhood characterization and safety. By discerning and addressing these influential factors, property managers can tailor their strategies to enhance local perception and attract high quality tenants. Now, this is important to understand because when we are saying that we are doing this kind of analysis, we are also taking into account some intangible uh, uh, factors. Now, for example, the brand name or the recognition uh, of that particular building or that particular area. So, some localities have uh, uh, um, certain uh, name for specific uh, reasons. So, they, they, they can be there can be some public perceptions about that area. So, when we are talking about public perception about that area, uh, even though the amenities which we discussed earlier that the school, the, the, um, um, uh, the, the, the school, the university, uh, the hospital, the, uh, the, the important office locations uh, from that particular area, uh, then the, the nearness of all these important amenities from that area that are essential. But apart from that, the, the, uh, the image of that area is also important. Uh, so, that also has to be taken into account and that is what is the perception of that particular area in other people's mind. 
because sometimes there can be uh, uh, these uh, certain aspects of crime uh, or uh, uh, certain other uh, uh, social reasons that such some specific areas have some specific uh, uh, image in the mind of people. So, uh, uh, that also has to be part of the analysis of the managers. So, then uh, uh, conducting uh, uh, dedicated local analysis is instrumental in systematically evaluating the factors that influence local perception. This comprehensive assessment provide property managers with invaluable insights into the strength and weakness of the property location. By dissecting these factors methodi methodically property managers can make informed decisions. So, a thorough local analysis is uh, indispensable for property managers seeking to navigate the complex dynamics of the real estate market. So, then we move on to the comparison grid analysis. So, how the comparison will be done? So, that will there, there is a proper uh, analysis press process which we have to follow uh, or we can follow. So, that is your comparison grid. So, comparison grid analysis is a structured method utilized to assess rental space by uh, comparing it against similar market offerings. This analytical approach involves creating a grid that systematically compares various features of the subject property with those of comparable properties in the market. By scrutinizing these features in detail, property managers can gain invaluable uh, insights into the um, uh, valuable insights into the property competitive positioning and rental value, value within the market landscape. So, the key steps in uh, comparison grid analysis first would be identifying comparable properties. So, the first step is the comparison grid is to uh, identify comparable properties in the market that share similar characteristics with the subject property. These properties serve as benchmark for evaluating the subject's property performance and rental potential. Then comparing features, one comparable property uh, once comparable properties are identified, the next step involves comparing key features such as the size, location, amenities, conditions and rental rates of the subject property with those of the comparable properties. This comparative analysis provides a comprehensive understanding of the property strength and areas of improvement and then determining the relative value based on the features comparison. Uh, uh, can be done. So, property managers then determine whether the features of the subject property are superior, inferior or comparable to those of the comparable properties. This assessment then helps in gauging the properties relative value within the market context. Then adjusting the rent. The rent. Finally, property managers adjust the rent of the subject property based on the feature comparisons and the relative value assessment. This ensures the, that the rental rate effects reflects the property competitive positioning in the market while maximizing its income potential. And then we go to the benefit of comparison grid analysis. So, providing a systematic approach to evaluate the rental space allows property manager to make informed decisions uh, about setting appropriate rental rates, ensure the subject property remains al aligned with the market trends and competitive benchmark enhancing its overall attractiveness to prospective tenants. So, that will be the comparison grid analysis. Then we move on to the setting of the rents. Like we just saw that uh, by comparing uh, properties, uh, we can then find out what are the, the, the rent trends and accordingly uh, what will be the suitable rent for our property. Uh, it has to be something which is in line with uh, what is there in the market. Of course, uh, uh, the correct positioning of the rent, the, the, the building uh, uh, which we are managing that has to be done by us. There has to be some subjective assessment, but of course, it has to be uh, with a proper process. So, uh, evaluating the quoted rents and occupancy. So, begin by evaluating the quoted rents and occupancy levels of the competing properties in the market. Uh, understanding the current market conditions and the rental rates being offered by similar properties. That is the first step. Then determining appropriate rent, consider factors such as the quality of the property, available services, amenities, location and demand supply dynamics. Determine appropriate rent that reflect the value offered by your property compared to other in the market. Then we 
have utilizing the comparison grid the, we just saw what is the comparison grid how we can utilize it so the comparison grid analysis is instrumental in assessing whether your rent is below at or above the market rate so there has to be a process you have following the, through the utilizing comparison grid you are following that process to come up with the correct rate so compare the features and rental rates of a property with those of comparable properties to gauge its competitiveness then the optimizing rent aim to optimize rent to strike a balance between minimizing vacancy rates and maximizing rental income so adjust the rent based on market trends tenant feedback and the property performance to achieve this balance so it is important that even though we have to minimize our vacancy rate and maximize our the rental which we are uh, earning but we should always remember that we can discount our rent uh, uh, at at a very high uh, level to just fill the vacancy there has to be some profitability aspects also we have to take take care in so we have to balance our rent and so the process here we which we have discussed this process can help us in going with the right rent which is market competitive and can make us uh, much more profitable in terms of our business so that is the setting of rents then we move on to the next which is how to write a narrative report so uh, narrative report is derived from our comprehensive market analysis we will cover key trends uh, including absorption rate regional dynamics neighborhood insights and their implication for the marketing strategies so we are talking about all these important aspects as part of this report so absorption rate so absorption rate reflecting the pace of property leasing or sales service as a vital indicator of the market health our analysis reveals a steady uptrend in absorption rate in creating robust demand across property segment so if our analysis is revealing a steady uptrend in absorption rate it indicates a robust demand across the property segment uh, and similar would be the case with the vice versa that our analysis is if the analysis is in the, on, on the negative side that is the absorption rates are declining uh, that may be the case when situations such as at the time of uh, uh, covid uh, there was uh, a deep uh, fall in the demand in the later stages um, uh, due of the offices when this, uh, this this was happening and the the rise of um, uh, work from home was happening so uh, our narration of what why this is happening we can gauge through absorption rate the numbers and also write uh, exactly why we think that is happening so that is there then regional trends zooming out to the regional dynamics we have observed uh, several noteworthy trends shaping the real estate landscape economic growth coupled with infrastructure development initiative has fueled demand driving up rental rates and property values then neighborhood insights so our focus on neighborhood level analysis has yielded valuable insights into the local dynamics demographic shifts such as the influx of young professional and families have contributed to increase demand while prox uh, proximity to amenities has enhanced neighborhood appeal so you can through these statements you can understand that how we can uh, uh, we are analyzing these the so demographic demand if it is increasing uh, what are the implications if the absorption rate is increasing what can be the reason uh, so this is something which we are writing as a narrative of what we have observed so that is there then the impact of the market strategies all this imp impact on the marketing strategy so armed with these insights we are well equipped to tailor our marketing strategies to resonate with our the target audience so in conclusion our narrative report conclusion uh, of what we have just now discussed in this particular uh, topic of narrative report we can say that it offers a holistic view of the market trends and dynamics providing actionable insights for strategic decision making by leveraging these insights we poised to navigate the real estate landscape effectively driving sustainable growth and value creation then moving on to the next which is absorption rate so we have been discussing about this absorption rate that it tells us that what is the performance of the property in that particular area and uh, how that is going on so absorption rate measures the rate at which available space whether for lease or sale is being filled or absorbed by the tenant or buyers so if the number is higher it tells us that how robust the market is if the number is low it tells us that how the uh, how poor the uh, the market is performing right now so depending on the absorption rate higher rate will in, uh, of course tell us that the markets are robust so it reflects the balance between the supply and demand in the market indicating the pace at which properties are being leased 
or sold relative to their availability. So, factors which are influencing the absorption rate, let us look at that. So, construction and development increase, construction activity at supply to the market potentially impacting absorption rates. Conversely, a lack of new construction may constrain supply and effect absorption. Demolition and changes. So, demolition of existing properties or changes in land use, land use can also influence the absorption rates by altering the supply demand dynamics. Then impact of, on market conditions. So, favorable absorption rate, a high absorption rate indicates strong demand and healthy market conditions. It reduces overall vacancy rate, support rental growth and may attract further investment. Unfavorable absorption. Conversely, a low absorption rate suggests oversupply or weak demand leading to slower growth, increased vacancy rate and potential financial challenges for developers and investors. Understanding absorption rates provide valuable insights into the balance of supply and demand in the real estate market, guiding the investing decisions and strategies to optimize return and mitigate risk. So, a very crucial data point, uh, data uh, metric for our use that is absorption rate. Then we move on to the trends. So, uh, the significance of identifying and understanding trends in regional and neighborhood analysis within the real estate market. So, first we have done the regional analysis. So, what is that? Uh, what what uh, insights we are getting? So, examining broader economic and demographic trends help identify shifts in the market dynamic such as population growth, job creation and economic development initiative. Then neighborhood analysis focusing on local demographics, amenities and development provides insights into micro market trends, rental demand and tenant preferences. Then impact of demographic and economics, demographic shifts, changes in population, demographic including age, income level and household composition directly influence rental demand and property preferences within the neighborhood. Economic trends, economic indicator such as GDP growth, employment rates and consumer confidence affect commercial leasing activities, tenant retention and rental rates. Then we have importance of the for the marketing strategies of these trends why we are learning about them. So, one of them is marketing strategies. So, strategic planning incorporating observations from the regional and neighborhood analysis into marketing strategies enable real estate professionals to tailor their approach to target specific demographic segments and capitalize on emerging market trends. Then how we will position ourselves market positioning needs to uh, so understanding the market trends allows for effective positioning of properties emphasizing unique selling points and addressing evolving tenant needs to maximize occupancy and rental income. So, by straying abreast of these trends in regional and neighborhood analysis, real estate professional can proactively adapt their strategies to capitalize on market opportunities. So, uh, understanding these trends is important, it can help us in strategizing making the right decisions. So, then we move on to the data evaluation. So, uh, as part of this, uh, so what, uh, so data evaluation serve as the foundation for understanding current market condition, uh, guiding strategic decision making and setting management objectives to align with the property owner's goal. By analyzing data on neighborhood conditions, economic trends and property performance metrics, uh, real estate professional can identify areas for improvement uh, and implement targeted strategies to enhance property value and maximize return, uh, assessing changing neighborhood conditions. Evaluating changing neighborhood conditions involve monitoring demographic shifts, economic indicators and property development activities to gauge market dynamics and anticipate future trends. Understanding how population change changes economic fluctuations and new development impact local property market enables real estate professionals to adapt management strategies accordingly and capitalize on emerging opportunities. Then uh, what are the key considerations or key factors here? So, population shifts, analysis of the population demographic 
migration pattern and household dynamics help assess demand for different type of properties and inform leasing and marketing strategies. Economic trends, evaluation of economic indicators such as job growth, income level and consumer spending provides insights into the overall health of the real estate market and influence investment decisions. Property development, monitoring new constructions, renovation projects and zoning changes in the neighborhood informs property owner about the potential competition and market saturation guiding leasing and pricing strategies. Then its importance for continuing continual monitoring. Real estate market are dynamic and subject to constant change making continual monitoring of trends essential for staying informed and making timely adjustments to management strategies. Regular data evaluation allows real estate professional to track market shifts, assess the effectiveness of management initiatives and make informed recommendations to property owners of optimizing property performance. In summary, data evaluation plays a crucial role in guiding the management direction understanding neighborhood dynamics and making informed recommendation in real estate by leveraging data driven insights. Real estate professionals can effectively navigate the market complexity with complexities and drive success in property management and investment endeavors. So, the idea is that uh, our process should be data driven, the assessment uh, of all these numbers and the final conclusion of what and how we want to actually strategize for development for achieving the goals of our property will of course be subjective, but that assessment will be done on the base of data. The data we will collect from all the regional analysis, neighborhood analysis, different type of analysis which we are doing and the grid analysis in which we are ultimately uh, comparing or how we are fixing our rent. After all this like the whole the analysis is uh, being done through data and uh, when we are collecting this data we are also affixing a narrative. So, uh, by understanding of the national level um, um, e economics the happenings around in your area and uh, the changes which are taking place in the, the business environment or the, the residential environment of that particular area. The, um, uh, uh, the, the, the reason behind these numbers uh, can become clear to a, a real estate manager and after they have, have a clarity of all these issues that why these specific changes are happening in the market, they can of course um, uh, uh, make a strategy based on these numbers. So, that is uh, why the data evaluation, the data itself is important, but its evaluation, its uh, understanding also is very, very crucial. Part. Then we move on to the analysis of the alternatives. So, see, so involving investigation, various changes to justify rent increases, enhance property operation, optimize the asset values, it has to be based on the alternatives that is analyzing them in comparison to what is existing. If we are suggesting some changes, those changes should be better than what is already existing. So, to convince uh, the uh, the owners or to the uh, uh, to to take a particular decision uh, uh, for the change in property uh, the direction of where we are going uh, we have to show that what is present uh, is not uh, performing that well and the alternative will be better so uh, justifying the rent increase there has to be a reason behind it so uh, analysis of alternatives should provide that reason uh, overall economic environment is uh, saying that we can go over higher rent that will uh, justify this. Then property operations, evaluating alternative involves exploring operation changes to improve property efficiency, reduce cost. If we are suggesting some technological change, uh, so that should be improving the properties operation. Physical changes if we are suggesting, it should increase uh, or improve uh, the current condition. So, so uh, we will have to justify that. So, all this will become part of this particular uh, uh, thing that the analysis of the alternatives, the, the, uh, the uh, analysis of cost benefit, which is the next uh, which we are saying to, so what is the current cost 
uh, and uh, the uh, and if we are going for a replacement of the existing uh, features existing uh, situation then what are the uh, advantages which we are getting from that so uh, if we are whether we are increasing the uh, property income uh, we are uh, what is the payback period uh, of all the changes that how soon we will recover uh, the money we invest for these changes the the increase in the property value which will these changes bring so all this will be part of the cost benefit analysis so uh, after we have done a holistic analysis after we have done the study we are saying that uh, we to convince the uh, the owners we will have to these uh, do uh, alternative analysis a cost benefit analysis that will convince the owners to decide that yes we require these changes we requires these additions to our existing building our strategy needs to be changed for uh, the benefit of overall uh, plan which we have in our mind for the maximization of the uh, uh, the the uh, profits of our business so that will be coming through this particular analysis then the summary the conclusion of what we have done today so we moved from evaluating the property conditions we did uh, regional national uh, uh, local analysis the neighborhood analysis we done on different type of analysis we see how uh, these different type of analysis are done and how the uh, the overall uh, um, uh, the overall picture or uh, the trends emerges out of all this and how we can put a narrative to that and uh, when we add these numbers these narrative these data we bring them together we create a picture which can understand uh, the current dynamics of that area and help us in determining our actions so that was covered in this particular lecture um, uh, of the thorough understanding in the next lecture we will be talking about the sustainability uh, related aspects of the real estate but now thank you